What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome my current subscribers and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my, enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This free general collective reading for Sun of Leo. This can resonate if you have Leo in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Haven to your chart. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and dress. Free general collective reading for Sun of Leo for October of 2022. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. If you think anyone else would like it, please feel free to share it very publicly on social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Share messages you have on Leo. I did receive two channel messages as I was meditating on your energy, Leo, for uh, October 2022. The first one I heard was unexpected communication. And the second one I heard was a Leo that has been intentionally isolated by their own community through many series of chain of events. Um, people outside your community is about to lift you up in a huge way. It's about to create very positive series of chain of events for you. So you plug it in, how it resonates, however that resonates and applies in your own life, Leo. Okay. Okay. So I usually only take two, but I just heard take them all. We have older man. Moon changes in your life. Great. It's time to go out and have fun. Flag, do not be tempted to lower your standards. Uh, okay, so uh, so unexpected communication soon. That could be you sending out unexpected communication or somebody sending unexpected communication to you. Energies can be reversed, so you have to plug the message or messages into your own particular life and situation, how they resonate and apply in your own particular life and situation, Leo. Okay? So, you're either sending out unexpected communication, or somebody is sending it to you, or your, or both. How that resonates and applies. And then, one of you guys has been intentionally isolated by your own community, but through many series of chain events, people from outside your community, so outside your area, uh, community, etc., 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 I'm feeling your local community, Leo. They're about to raise you up uh, in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, how they do that, I'm not sure. Um, I didn't hear that, but somehow a series of chain of events are going to be created to, um, they're going to lift you up in some shape, form, or fashion. I don't know if this is promotion or talking positively about you or recommendations or something. Somehow they're going to lift you up through many series of chain of events, okay? But it's people outside of your community. It's not people in your current community. If this resonates and applies. Because whoever this is for, you've been intentionally isolated inside your community. Intentionally. Spare messages you have for But I think people outside your community know you've been intentionally isolated. Or they're about to realize it. How that resonates and applies. But who of these people are that's about to uh, intentionally uh, lift you up, that lives outside your community? Um, they're highly intuitive. They're highly intuitive, I'll tell you that. All right. So we have lion and wolf. For some, you can be dealing with another fire sign or earth sign. If you are, they can have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Or Aries, Leo, Sag, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts, if you are. A housewarming gift. A housewarming gift is what I just heard. A housewarming gift. So one of you guys, uh, housewarming gift, this could be you giving a housewarming gift to a person or people, or you receiving a housewarming gift, whether it's already happened or it's about to happen. How that resonates, I heard a housewarming gift. So for some, I feel you could you could receive a housewarming gift or give a housewarming gift. Um, how that resonates and applies Leo, okay? Some kind of housewarming gift. I heard, get another one, spirit messages here. We have uncertainty and enlightenment. 
I'm sorry, uncertainty and enlightenment. Number 43 or 19 can be very significant numbers in one's life. 43 or 19. It can be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. 43 or 19. Lion. And Aries did you very, 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 very wrong in the past. <clears throat> past, very wrong. Position of high authority Aries. They have already experienced huge chaos in their life, and they're going to experience even more huge chaos in their life because they've done you so wrong. Through many series of chain of events, one of these Aries is about to create a series of chain of events to help you get reinstated back into a company. For one, they're going to help you get your kids back. Wow. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, uh, Leo, if that resonates for you. So for one, you don't, you either don't have full custody or you have visitation rights like I do right now. Or you have half and half custody. How that resonates, that applies. But I don't, I don't feel you have full custody right now if you ever had full custody. How that resonates and applies. Um. You're a very light side Leo for both situations. This is not low vibrational energy. Okay, I heard you're a very light side Leo for both situations. This is not low vibrational energy. So if this resonates and applies for you, it's not low, low vibrational energy. This isn't for the party, nightclub people. You're going around shooting meth in your veins, snorting up coke, or what have you, what have you. It's for the high vibrational folks. Um, for both situations. But um, for one, they're both positions of high authority. And they're both Aries, masculine or femme Aries. They both did you wrong terribly in the past. Whoever these Aries are, masculine or femme Aries, position of authorities. I didn't hear specifically what kind of position of authority they are. But one is going to help create a series of chain events to help you get your kids back. So I feel they could uh, work in the legal sector uh, in some shape, form, or fashion is what I'm feeling for one of them to help you get your kids back, possibly. Or it could be a citizen. That um, creates series of chain events to help you get your kids back. How that resonates with plots. That's for one. For one, they um, I feel they I feel they used to be a boss of yours because they heard position on authority. I heard they're going to create series of chain events to help you get reinstated back into a company. Um, so whatever company that is and however that applies, I feel you used to work with that Aries. I feel you used to work with them. They either used to be your manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO, or coworker. Um, I don't know how long ago it's been since you've worked with this person. Uh, so for some, I feel it could have been a co-working energy. For some, it could have been a manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO. But the other one, I feel this could be somebody that works in the legal sector, or it could be someone, a citizen, that knows some important information on your kids or you or something. And maybe they call in or something. How that resonates and applies. But... What they both have in common is they're both position of authorities and they both did you very, very, very dirty in the past. Very dirty. Um, I heard they've already experienced huge chaos in their life and they're going to continue. But I think they are experiencing huge chaos in their life because whoever you are, you're a very light side being. So they mess with a very light side being. Well, if you go around hurting people unintentionally and, um, you know, creating chaos unintentionally where it doesn't need to be uh created the energy boomerangs back so i think that's what's going on there but um only these aries know their uh, situation and story not anybody else but they're about to help you Her heavy aries energy fire sign energy very strong desire drive and motivation to get it done and i think it's because they have chaos in their own life and i heard they're going to continue but it sounds like they're probably going to continue to have their uh, own chaos in their own life leo because they have caused chaos in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. It sounds like the energy is boomerang right back and it's going to continue until this is balanced out, is what it sounds like. But you plug it in how it resonates in your own life, Leo. Okay. A very significant board meeting is about to occur. A very significant board meeting is about to occur, is what I heard. A very significant board meeting is about to occur. That could be the changes in uh, your life, their life, the Aries life. 
For some of these Aries, they could be an older masculine or a Finn that takes on heavy masculine, possibly, because we have dealings in a relationship with older man. But, you know, energy is coming first. So this could be a Finn and their masculine or masculine. Uh, how that resonates and applies, I feel for some, they could be older masculine energy Aries or a Fem Aries, an older Fem Aries that takes on heavy masculine. How that resonates and applies. But it's going to cause changes in your life. 555 five, five energy here, Leo. If those messages apply for you, this is high vibrational Leos only over here. Wolf. An Aquarius hired a private investigator to, to really, really, really stalk your social media platform. It was for their benefit. However, the energy has completely shifted, completely shifted now. This private investigator did not believe you at first, but they believe you now. It is not going to go well for this Aquarius and others. Oh, my God. Wow, this is so juicy. We are 11 minutes in. Okay. So, an Aquarius hired a private investigator initially to stalk your social media business, Leo. <laughs> wow. So, um, it's, a, it's an earth sign uh, private investigator. Earth sign masculine. It's an Ursine masculine. So it's Ursine masculine private investigator. I feel like he could pro probably be an older masculine energy, probably. 35, 36 or above, possibly, because we have older man. But I heard he's Ursine masculine for sure. Whether he's younger or older, I feel like in a lot of these situations, probably older. But you plug it in how it resonates. But this Aquarius, masculine or femme Aquarius, hired this Ursine masculine to stalk, I heard stalk your social media business. But the energy is completely shifted now. So I don't know if they're still being hired to stalk your social media business, but it sounds like this earth sign masculine still pervades your social media business is what I'm feeling, Leo. They still pervade it. Because I heard the energy is completely shifted. So I don't know if they still get money from this Aquarius is what I'm trying to say. Um, sounds like the Aquarius paid them to do something. It sounds like it's over because I heard the energy shifted. But I heard... <laughs> Now, it sounds like this Earth sign masculine still pervades your business, your online social media business, but the energy shifted now, and I heard he did not believe you in the past. He did not believe you in the past, but now he does. So there's a reason he believes you now is what I'm trying to say, Leo. There's a reason he believes you now, and he didn't in the past. I heard it's not going to go well for the Aquarius and other people. So... I think the, uh, I heard the Aquarius strategically hired him to basically stalk and lurk your social media platform. Probably because the Aquarius didn't want to do it. But it sounds like the Aquarius lied to him and others lied to him. Lied to him in a huge way. A huge ass way. And he knows this now. Okay, I heard lied to him in a huge ass way, huge ass way, and he knows this now. So... Yeah, he knows now that this Aquarius and other people lied to him in a huge ass way. He's coming as the wolf energy, um, um, leader of the pack, um, get her done energy, desire, drive, and motivation. Um, he still pervades your business, so he believes you now, but there's a reason he believes you now. I think he's going to come in with the fire. You know, this is our sign energy, but... You see the fire in the background there. I think he's going to come in with fire with this Aquarius and other people. With the lion energy is what I think. Heard it's not going to go well for the Aquarius and others. But it's because this Aquarius and others has lied to him. He's either, I, I, it sounds like he's already figured it out or he's about to. He's highly intuitive. Highly intuitive. Okay, I heard he's highly intuitive. Highly intuitive. So he's very intuitive. Uh, whoever he is. Um, but he's a, he's a private investigator. Um, so I hope he's highly intuitive and that could be changes in life in, in your life, uh, because whatever is going on here, whatever lies they told him, he knows it's not the truth now, but I think it's something you're doing on your social media business or saying on your social media business or posting on your social media business or something to do with your social media business. He knows they are lying.
or Havelock. How that resonates and applies. Wow. Okay. And that could be the enlightenment too for him. And changes for him. Uh, holy moly. I'm pulling him in very strong. Let me see if I hear anything else. Many people started a huge shitstorm in the past to win at all costs and used you as collateral damage. But you are about to be the victor in this in a huge way. Okay, I heard many people caused a shitstorm in the past and used you as collateral damage because um, they wanted to win at all costs. But they used you, Leo. I feel you're a high vibrational Leo if this resonates for you. As collateral damage. But I heard, uh, it sounds like through many series of chain of events, you're about to win. You're uh, not like win at all costs, but you're about to be the victor. Meaning, I think um, they threw you under the bus. I think they threw you under the bus. And I think they, I heard they wanted to win at all costs and use you as collateral damage. So they didn't care what the hell happened to you, what they said about you. What happened to you as long as they got what they wanted? And they did. But the energy is shifting now. Huge crimes there, huge. Okay, I heard they did, but uh, but the energy is completely shifted now. Huge crimes there. So it sounds like they have committed crimes or crimes against you in the past, Leo, but they did it winning at all costs. They didn't care what they did to win at all costs, but they sounds like they have harmed you in some shape, form, or fashion, or committed crimes or crimes against you in some shape, form, or fashion, to win at all costs. But I heard in the end, you're going to be the victor, but I think it's because you are the truth here. You are the truth, and I don't think you mow people down intentionally or, try, or win at all costs. I think you speak the truth, good and bad and ugly. And I think this Earth sign investigator knows this, and these Aries know this. But you plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap, man. This is strong. Moon changes in your life. A once chaotic neighborhood is now a very peaceful neighborhood. And false police reports and false FBI reports are about to become very significant. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. Okay, so a uh, once chaotic neighborhood is now a very peaceful neighborhood. And false police reports and a false and false FBI report or reports are about to become very significant. So you have to plug yourself in which side of the karmic wheel you're in on here, Leo. Um, did you make the false FBI reports or false police reports? Or for some, I feel the false FBI reports or police reports could have been made against you. But somehow false FBI reports or police reports are about to be significant in your life, whether you made them or they're made against you. And for one of you guys, some kind of chaotic neighborhood is now a peaceful neighborhood now for some i feel you could have moved to a chaos from a chaotic neighborhood to a peaceful neighborhood for some i feel you still live in the same neighborhood and it was once chaotic but now there's been changes and now it's peaceful how that resonates and applies older man dealing with a relationship with older man
A significant call from a mortgage company is about to become very significant in Leo's life. In Chapter 13, Bankruptcy. Ooh, a significant call from a, a mortgage company. It's about to become very significant in Leo's life and in, in Chapter 13, Bankruptcy. So, um, ooh, you plug it in, how it resonates. So, um, well, you, whichever side you're on here, Leo, for some, you know, you could be the um, a lawyer um, handling somebody's bankruptcy, Chapter 13, Bankruptcy, possibly. For some, you could be know somebody that's um, going through Chapter 13, Bankruptcy. It doesn't have to be you. Um, however that resonates, yikes, chapter 13 bankruptcy, but maybe for some it's you going through chapter 13 bankruptcy, or you have, somehow chapter 13 bankruptcy is significant to one of you guys, whether you have already been through it, you're going through it now, or you know somebody going through it, or they're about to go through it, okay, and, um, uh, one of you guys is about to get a significant call from a mortgage, mortgage company soon, so, uh, mortgage company is home ownership, so, I think one of you guys is a homeowner and uh, you're about to get a call from mortgage company. So you plug it in how it resonates, okay? I think it's the older masculine energy about to call you from this mortgage company or a femme that takes on heavy masculine. If that resonates, and applies. Very important information. Very important. Okay, I heard very important information. Very important. So whatever information this person, I feel for a lot of you guys, it's the older masculine energy going to call you from this mortgage company. Uh, for some, it could be a feminine per masculine, but however that resonates, uh, it's very important information. Now, whether that you're on the good side of this or the bad side of this, only you know your financial health, not anybody else, Leo, but it's going to create changes in your life in some shape or fashion, whether it's positive or negative, if that resonates and applies. Section 8, voucher fraud. One of you, you're on the very positive side of this, and one, you're on the very negative side of this. It's about to come out, and it's about to come out huge. Know this. Oh, Lord. Okay, I heard Section 8. I got that in Taurus's reading, reading too. Some you could be dealing with Taurus. But I heard Section 8 voucher fraud is about, um, about to come very significant for one of you. Oh, well, at least two of you. I heard one, you're on the very positive side of this, and one, you're on the very negative side of this. So you have to plug yourself in which side you're on. Are you, uh, Were you part of Section 8 voucher fraud, or were you not? Because one, you're on the very positive side of this. So it sounds like you had nothing to do with Section 8 voucher fraud. Maybe for some, you've reported it or you're about to. For some, I feel you have Section 8 voucher frauded. Someone or some people or a group or what have you, what have you. And you're on the negative end of this. So you plug it in how it resonates, Leo. Only you know your situation story, not anybody else. For some, you could be the older masculine energy, possibly. You plug yourself in where you fit, Leo. But it's about to create changes. Five, five, five. Great, it's time to go out and have fun. Let me see if I hear anything else. A phone call from a lawyer is about to become very significant in a positive way in Leo's life. Very positive. Okay. Wow. Okay. That's double deuces confirmation. Very positive. So a lot of phone call energy here. We got a phone call upcoming for one of you guys from a mortgage company. One of you guys are about to get a call from a lawyer's office. I heard this is going to be very positive. Property law. Will. Inheritance. Property, property law. Will and inheritance is what I heard. So one of you guys is going to be a call from mortgage company. One of you guys is going to be a phone call from a property law lawyer, will and inheritance. I heard it's going to make you very happy. And it sounds like you're on the positive end of this with some kind of will and inheritance. I think it's an older masculine energy about to call you from this lawyer's office um, or a fem and her masculine. Um, however that resonates and applies, but I did hear property law, will and inheritance. I think you are owed some kind of will and inheritance. It might be an unlocking of a will. Or unveiling of a wheel, possibly, or inheritance. How that resonates and applies, Leo. Heard it's going to make you very happy. 
So I think it's coming to you. Um, that's beautiful. You should have had it years ago. You should have had it years ago is what I heard. You should have had it years ago and that's going to create positive financial changes in your life is what I just, uh, what I heard. So that's beautiful, Leo. You should have had it years ago if you are the one on, um, about to receive a phone call from the property law lawyer uh, office. Just saying, just saying. If that resonates for you, just know that, okay? I feel for a lot of you guys, you, are, you know that, but I'm just saying. Great, it's time to go out and have fun. A Leo's life is about very high vibrational. Leo's life is about to speed up in a very positive way, such a positive way. Money flow is about to start coming in. Financial stability, lockdown, about to get a lot of stuff done. Wow, this is beautiful, man. Holy crap. This is beautiful. So, okay. So, um, whoever that's for, your high vibrational office resonates for you. I heard um, your life is about to start speeding up in a very positive way. I heard um, money flow is about to start coming in in a very positive way. So, that could be from business or businesses, side hustles, job or jobs investment or investments or, or wheels or inheritance or what have you, what have you, but it's about to start coming in and it sounds like a lot of it and positively I heard financial security, um, on lockdown and you're going to have, sounds like overflow of abundance to where you'll be able to go out and have fun. Just hopefully you do it in a responsible manner. Um, you don't want any DUIs, you don't want to get arrested. You don't, you know, you don't want, um, to get around low vibrational people to where, they steal from your ass or um, or um, around you just to survey what you have in your home so they can steal from you. If you might need to hear that, okay? But it's going to afford you financial freedom, financial flexibility, financial stability. I mean, it sounds like a lot of money flow here. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot is what I heard. A lot. So you're going to have to go out and have fun, do what you want to do. Just hopefully you do it in a positive manner and you're not hurting or harming anybody or, um, or being irresponsible. And for one, you're going to get asked out on a date unexpectedly in a very unexpected way soon. And for one, you're going to um, get asked out on a date unexpectedly um, in an unexpected way soon. So that's for one of you guys. So somebody's going to ask you out, out, like to go out, like to dinner, drinks, a bar, what have you, what have you. Um, I heard it's going to be in an unexpected way, um, unexpectedly. So you're not going to expect this to happen is what I'm feeling, Leo. Um, and it's going to be in an unexpected way. For one, it's someone you work with. For one, it's someone that pervades your business. For one, it's a neighbor. Okay. So for one of you guys, it's a neighbor. For one, it's somebody that pervades your business, um, whether it's a everyday 3D world business or online business. Um, and for one, it is someone you work with. So I think work with out in the 3D workspace is what I'm presuming. I don't work out in 3D workspace, but I know a lot of you guys do. So however that resonates and applies. So uh, this is asking out, out on a date, whether it's a coworker in the 3D workspace, somebody that pervades your business, whether it's an everyday 3D workspace business or online social media business or what have you, what have you. Um, yeah, wow, okay. So you plug it in how it resonates. Oh, and one is your neighbor and for one is your neighbor. And this could be your neighbor, you, this could be you, or this could be your neighbor, How that resonates. Older masculine energy, I'm feeling 35, 36 or above. And that's going to create changes, getting asked out. I feel for some, a lot, I know a lot of you guys are celibate. I know a lot of you are celibate. I've been celibate for years. So, I mean, but there's nothing wrong with going out on a date if you deem this person safe. If you deem them safe. Now, you know, if you've got red flags going off everywhere, um, it wouldn't be a smart idea to go out with somebody if the red flags are dinging in your head not to do it. 
You have to use your best logic, intuition, and reasoning. Everybody, the same, the same, okay? Everybody needs to keep safe, okay? Love you guys. I don't want anybody missing person reports, okay? Um, just, and I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm just saying, use your head, okay? But one is a neighbor, one is a co-worker out in the 3D workspace, one is somebody that pervades your business. Um, either 3D workspace business or online social media business. You plug it in, how it resonates. Strongly feel for a lot of you guys, the older masculine energy about to ask you out. For some, it could be a femme in their masculine. You plug it in, how it resonates. Flag, do not be tempted to lower your standards. For one, once you get, once someone sees the money really start changing in a very positive way, they're going to know it's changing in a very positive way. You're going to get low vibrational karmic people from your past wanting to try to come back and explain themselves. This would not be a smart idea. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, I heard, uh, so for the one of you guys, is, your money is about to really start influxing in a huge way, positive way. But somehow people are going to know your money's influxing in a positive way. Uh, you might speak on it, or they might see positive changes in your aesthetic, um, physical outward appearance, um, or your home, or your kids, if you have kids, or somehow they're going to see the money is going to change. Um in a positive influx up way. I think it's because there's going to be changes in you aesthetically or your home or your children, if you have children, um, or maybe you buy, 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 purchase something large or you, and you speak on it or something. But however that resonates, people of your past are going to know, karmic people of your past, people that do not have good intentions or will for you, basically, that's karmic energies, they're going to know the money's coming in very positively and up, like, oh, significantly. So, I heard they're going to want to come back and try to explain themselves. heard it would not be a good idea. So, um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. Um, I heard they're karmic, so they have harmed you or did not have good intentions for you in some shape, form, or fashion in the past. But now, all of a sudden, they want to come back and explain themselves. Well, that doesn't make sense. Why didn't they explain themselves when they didn't have good intentions for you to begin with? That doesn't make any sense. Um, in my opinion, but of course you have free will to allow them back and let them, ex I mean, there's nothing wrong with hearing people out. There's nothing wrong with hearing people out, but you have to do it in a safe way, in my opinion. Of course, you can allow them over to your house and allow them in your energy and uh, allow all that, but you can forgive from a distance, if anybody needs to hear that. I would do it from a distance. I mean, you can hear them out through text. You can hear them out on the phone, but... I wouldn't be allowing all these folks that didn't have good intentions for you in the past back in your energy, but of course you can allow that if you want. Um, and it sounds like it's several people from your past, but there's a reason they want to come back now is what I'm trying to say. So I would just be careful, okay? I'd be careful. They didn't try to help you get up to where you were, if anybody needs to hear that. They just want to enjoy it when you're up. They didn't care when you were down. I mean... Otherwise, they would have been there. They would have explained themselves then. They would have tried to help you get up. But whoever these people are, they sound very opportunistic, like they're waiting to see you get up. And once they see you get up, then they want to be around. You see what I'm saying? So I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. I mean, I'd take that back. I would forgive them, forgiving at a distance, but I wouldn't allow them in my energy, if that makes sense. Because your energy and your health and um, everything that is you is very important. And these people didn't care in the past about destroying you and seeing your downfall in the past. So why, you know, do they really care now? I would really explore motives if it was me. But you can take the advice or leave it, okay? Uncertainty.
Many people of your past are going through very tumultuous times right now, very uncertain, tumultuous times. Because of what they've done to you in the past. They do not want you to know this. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So, me, um, high vibrational being. Okay, so you're a high vibrational being. So you treat people honestly, trust, respect, moral, ethics, security, and values. You're high vibrational. So many people, your past, they don't want you to know, Leo, is basically they're going through very tumultuous, uncertain times right now because of how they treated you in the past. Um, legal issues for a lot of them. For some, financial. For some, both. For some, legal. For some, financial. For some, both. So for some, going through legal issues, some financial issues, some both. And for one, their business is tanking into the ground. And for one, their business is tanking into the ground. So for one, their business is tanking into the ground. For one, uh, legal issues. And for one, financial issues. For one, both. And for one, their business is tanking into the ground. So they don't want you to know they're going through uncertain, tumultuous times. But it's because of some way they treated you in the past, Leo. Whoever these people are, it sounds like it's two or two plus people. I didn't hear signs. You have to plug these people in how they resonate. If it applies, okay? Enlightenment. A huge snowball effect of the past has come full circle. It's it's here and it's it's coming. For a lot of people, your past, a lot of people. Pandora's box open. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. Okay, so if this resonates for you, it's your people, your past. Um whatever the crap they did to you in Leo, uh in the past, Leo was not good. I'll take that. Whoever this is for. Um, there's some kind of Pandora's box that's already, it, it sounds like it's open in the universe now. Um, for some of you guys, I feel it probably took a while to come, but it sounds like it's here now. It was a negative snowball effect that it sounds like it's hitting them now. I don't think they wanted, obviously they didn't want it to come. For some, I think they were praying that the karma wouldn't hit them, but it sounds like the karma, negative karma is here and it's hitting them and it's hitting them hard, but they don't want you to know that it's hitting them. So, um, if that resonates for you, okay? Enlightenment. A gambling addict. A casino. And evidence is about to become very significant in Leo's life. A gambling addict, a casino, and evidence is about to become very significant in Leo's life. So you plug it in, how it resonates, a gambling addict, a casino, and evidence. And I did a um, reading today, actually, on, uh, I got like clairvoyant message and some clairaudient messages um, of some masculine energy gambling addict thing, um, basically. Um, some of you guys, you could be somebody, the person telling that person, collecting all that evidence on that reading I did, because I feel that probably tells off that reading I did. Um, or you could know this gambling addict masculine energy because it's a masculine energy in that reading that um, stole a femme energy's money and he's a huge gambling addict. I feel like this is him in this aspect. But, um, and he's having too much fun on a feminine energy stolen money at casino. And I'm just being for real. But whoever this is for, a gambling addict, a casino, and evidence is about to become very significant in your life. I feel for some, you could probably be femme energy that, um, he stole the money from. For some, you could be the person telling him in that um, channeling in that uh, reading. For some, you could know that mass older masculine. Well, I don't, I don't know if he's older. He is a masculine energy in that reading, though. You could know the masculine energy that has stole the feminine energy's money. That is a gambling addict and um, and has taken it upon himself to steal somebody else's money. You plug it in, how it resonates. But I think enlightenment's about to come to the situation about the gambling addict, the casino, um, probably masculine gambling addict, casino, and um, evidence, um, enlightenment. In that reading, it was videos and photos was the evidence. But you plug it in how it resonates, um, if that resonates for you, Leo.
you are about to learn a lot of information on the past, a lot of information from someone you would have never expected soon. You're about to learn a lot of information on the past from someone you would have never expected soon. So if this resonates for you, it could be an older masculine energy about to give you this information or a femme and um, masculine energy possibly, older person possibly, or somebody else. Um, but you're about to learn, whoever you are, Leo, you're about to learn a lot of information on the past soon. It has been strategically withheld from you. For one, you have a very toxic family. Okay, for one, it has been strategically withheld from you and you have a very toxic family. So, for one, the information has been strategically withheld from you because you have a very toxic family, but you're about to get enlightenment on the information um, because you have a very toxic family and um, it's been strategically withheld from you. Uh, for some, I feel it could be older masculine energy about to tell you this information is going to create changes in your life or older femme and um, her masculine, how that resonates. But it's definitely about to create changes in your life. But I heard you, whoever that's for, you have a very toxic family. And I feel maybe the gambling addict, the casino, and evidence might be from a toxic family member for one of you guys. For one, it may not be. But um, you plug it in how it resonates. But it sounds like your toxic family has strategically withheld information from you because they are toxic is what it sounds like for one of you guys. For one, you're about to learn about a pedophile ring. You work in law enforcement. For one, you're a child. Uh, you're a parent of an abused child in a pedophile ring. And once you learn this information, you're about to take great action. Okay, so some of you guys, you're about to learn about one. You're a judge, and one you're a judge. Okay, so one, you're a judge, one, you're a parent of an abused child or children that is in a pedophile ring or was in a pedophile ring, and one, you are an um, officer of the law, um, and you're about to learn information on a child pedophile ring. So you have to plug your situation story in, how you resonate. If you're a judge about to learn information on child pedophile ring, uh, officer of the law, masculine or feminine, Leo, about to learn information on child pedophile ring, or you are a... Um, Parent of one of the abused child or children about to learn information on the child pedophile ring. Enlightenment, information. Um, I heard the parent, you're going to take huge, uh, whoever you are, you're a parent that cares, I feel. You're a high vibrational parent, and you're going to take action. I heard great action once you learn the information on the child pedophile ring. Um, so that's going to create changes in your life. Hopefully you can get full custody if it is, I'm not saying it's your um, spouse or partner or ex or what have you what have you that did the child pedophile ring or abuse your children or what have you what have you but i'm saying what i'm saying is if it was a toxic family member or a ex or a spouse or what have you what have you that did do this to your ch child or children hopefully you can gain full custody i'm just saying just saying um because that's child abuse all day long um if if that's the case everybody's situation is different for some, you could be single parents like me. For some, maybe not. But you're about to take some kind of action, I'll tell you that. Um, whether the other parent was involved in that or a toxic family was involved in that or whoever was involved in that, you it sounds, you don't know yet. You're uncertain yet. You don't know the information yet, but you're about to be enlightened and find it out. I'd be taking some huge ass action that was me and that's just the truth but everybody you know everybody's different but whoever you are i feel you really care about your child or children and you will take some great action but you don't know the information yet i'll tell you that so um you plug it in how it resonates let me see if i hear anything else One of your toxic family members is under very heavy IRS investigation. Very heavy. Tax evasion. 
and it's not going to go well for them. For one, it is several members in your family. Family business. Oh, my God. For one, it is you. Oh, my God. You plug in how it resonates. Okay, for one of you guys, you're under heavy investigation for tax evasion, family business. For one, several, it's not you, it's several to toxic family members in your family under, under heavy investigation for tax evasion for a family business. For one, it's one family member, toxic family member in your, fa um, in your family for some kind of tax evasion for a family business. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. A lot of tax evasion here, Leo, whether it's not you and it's your toxic family, whether it's one member of your toxic family, or whether it's you under heavy investigation for tax evasion for some kind of toxic family illegal. It sounds like illegal business because I heard tax evasion. So they're not paying their taxes. Whoever this is, they're not paying their taxes. So tax evasion. You're not paying your taxes. Yikes. I pay my taxes. I'm just saying I pay my business taxes. That's for damn sure. So I don't know who this is for. All right, I didn't hear anything else. I didn't hear anything else. All right, I hope this helped. I love you guys so much. And if you think anyone else will like my channel, please feel free to share it very publicly on social media and word of mouth. I love you. Namaste.